we want to murder someone as well. <laughs> no. Really we'll, we'll see. we all want out of We'll see because I'm doing a completely different different path. So hey uh, hey everybody, welcome back. Um welcome back to the third and uh last hour here of um shit, what are we doing here? Oh yeah, once upon a game. Welcome. <laughs> uh we're wow. playing we're playing Vincent Baker's Firebrands, which is um built off of his mobile frame zero um world and game and system and setting. It's a mech anime. Uh, and this game is called Mobile Frame Zero Firebrands. Um, this game was the sponsor, or sponsored. Um, this game was utilized in the finale of the podcast Friends at the Table Counterweight, and I'm pretty sure that's the only cited reference and of this game being in the wild besides this. Um, so let's let's talk a little bit about um, what I'm going to do on my turn here. So uh, and maybe if, for some reason, if this is the first time you're tuning in right now. Um, we get to choose like nine or so different like mini games and those how we frame scenes together that's what we're doing here uh we went around the horn enough that it's back to me it's my turn now uh this game is technically gmless um right it's technically gmless right yes yeah so uh the the scene or like game that i'm willing to play or want to play for my scene is a conversation over food um the conversation over food is going to occur um over at the manor of uh, uh, Darcy Avalon, so the Avalon Manor again. Um, there's no mech here. Um, you're. Uh, this is okay. So this is how I see it starting. I um, I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let. Darcy, decide how much you are into this scene in, as far as how much you know as a character, but I'm going to describe what happens. Um, I show up. Uh, I'm not in my mecha suit or anything like that. Um, I go up to the landowner guy who's staying at your place that you've been feeding. I whisper something in his ear, telling him that he's been repositioned and he needs to clear out immediately. Um, and he's like, this is preposterous or whatever. And he's like, this orders from above, man. You know, get out. Um, I come over to you and um, I guess this is where we're going to start with the conversations over food um, I hope to find common ground with you about um, the land uh, the landowner who's staying at your house is there any? um Just realized I forgot to move us to the conversation over food page. <laughs> Let me think, because I mean, I guess there could be theoretically, but it really depends on how you're approaching this. Oh, okay. Um, I, uh, I, so when I show up and I appear to you, I'm like, ah, uh, Darcy of House Avalon, right? Or like I say, your Princess Darcy, uh, Darcy Avalon. Um, I I come bearing good news. Um, your uh, your guests will be no longer um, under your 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 house and your domain. Oh, why is that? I've given a recommendation to the the top brass that. Um, in order to secure this planet um, in a way that's mutually beneficial, um, we should look to persuading the um, genteel uh, nobles uh, and 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 really hear their their causes and really work with them instead of against them. Why the change of heart? And. Um, I mentioned I'd like to have this conversation over some food and I do like this thing and my soldiers or my <laughs> units bring in food for us and we sit down and they like, you know, they um, set up the table and things like that. And um, I say that uh, I hope you uh, fancy a nice meal. Um, I'm quite the chef and saying like I cook this. Um <sighs> I need you to reassure me that my home is not going to be 
a landowner hotel or hostel anymore can you no um i am your new guest <laughs> i mention you over dinner while we're eating uh i don't how do, do you how do you say that to me um i think like i bring it up very tactfully like i'm i think i say something about okay so you've re you've made arrangements to have this guy left away and i think so who is going to be staying here now? And oh, I'm oh yeah. So to reassure me that no yeah. one is. So we're we're getting our bibs on or whatever, right? Our our things, and um, <laughs> I say, well, it will be me for a little while at least, uh, as my 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 suit requires repairs. Uh, so was, you know, um, there's a particularly feisty revolutionary, uh, alluding to obviously Remy, um, from our fight. So basically, while my rep, my mech gets repaired because of our fight, I'm staying at your house. Um, I do not look pleased. Yeah, I know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> Which, I um, mean, oddly enough, would be in the same sort of city district as Remy's place. Yeah, and, but I, I assure you that um, I, I believe I will make myself uh, a far better tenant than our, our previous one. Uh because listen, I believe I believe Miss A uh, Princess Avalon, we got off on the wrong foot. Um, I don't. The say truth anything. is, the truth <laughs> is, I say um, the truth is is that I don't care about this planet. The truth is, I don't care about the Banterfil crystals. I don't care about who owns them and where they go. This is that stuff is is trivia it's you know it's it doesn't matter um what matters is that people are safe and people are well fed so um and i was scrolling for the name of banterfield now i lost the page for the dining thing can someone give me a quick pointer what page it's on oh yeah never mind i found it um it's also up on the roll 20 page if you want to look at it i accidentally spilled a secret that i have feelings for you I cover it oh. gracefully, but do you pick up on it anyway? Mm. I, I say, <laughs> I say, but not, <laughs> no, what I say is, that, but as like our first meal comes to like, and puts the plates down or whatever, it's like a nice soup or something for the first meal, right? The appetizer or whatever, other, the soup, the soup part. Um, I say, but not everything on this planet is so bad as I like, look at you and like, we like, I like, I, and I offer my, um, my glass of champagne or whatever to like clink, you know, as a, as a cheer. Um, hmm. I think I, I do clink your glass. Uh, you know I'm, I mean. I'm, I'm hesitant. Like I'm suspicious. I'm thinking, okay, what are you plotting now? How are you going to use this against me? I don't trust you. And, um, yeah, try to get that out of me. Something gives you away to me. What? <laughs> the dishes I prepared, um, what gives it away? Um, wait, so what, what do you mean when you say, so what, what Something is Something gives your feelings away to me. Oh, like, like you try, you cover your secret gracefully. I don't quite pick up. Oh on it, yeah, and something gives you away to me. What is it? How do I know what your favorite dish is? You could have like interrogated my servants. I know, but I prepared it just the way you like it. Like it's special. Um, like I went over the top oh, for this. I know what it is. Yeah, tell me. You've um, you've blockaded some things from this planet in part of your efforts. Oh yeah, it. yeah, I got something through. <laughs> yeah, 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 so definitely. You brought it through the blockade special. Ironically, it's the same stuff that wasn't available for Cypher's party. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I bring in here. Oh, um, that's so fitting. And I and I say like I it's no actually if you don't mind what it is it's the Go champagne. It's a champagne. Oh, okay, it's, you know, sure. It's, it's, a, it's a. It's not from this planet or something like that, right? But it's something that you're so used I, to. It's it's an, a you know it's it's you're accustomed to this type of high quality champagne. And it's something that's like I was like 
I always, I, no, know what I do, uh, when I'm pouring it into the clink the glass or whatever, I, like, pull it out of, like, my, like, personal, like, my bag or something, like, I'm, like, I never left home, like, I never leave anywhere without one of these, uh, I, like, and I, and I, and I, what I do is I look at you, so this is, and so let's, you know, we're, we're zooming back a little bit before the, before the cheer thing, I'm, like, and I, you know, I never bring home without one of these, and this is for special occasions, and I bring it out, and it's like, it's a bottle of, uh, 64, no, like, 2064, uh, Chartel de, de Noir, you know, whatever, I'm like, oh, like, do you like it? And it's your favorite. It's acceptable. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and I, and I, and I, then I pour it, I'm like, yeah, um, and I tell you, and I, we do the thing, not everything's bad, but blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> cute love it um um i hope to convince you that um i hope to convince you that we're that i'm i'm being honest here and i am being honest i'm trying to be honest here that um i personally think that we can get more done and if we're on the same side and that like you know we're, we can be more beneficial to each other than where we're at now can i i believe that you believe that what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> all right what's up ap gaming thanks for the host my friend ah uh. i'm feeling generous what favor do you ask me um what favor do I ask you? Since I... Uh, wait, favor do I ask you? Since, um, so I've done my research, and I, since I know that you're not working with the rebels, um, <laughs> you know, uh, the favor that I ask of you is that, um, you join me, uh, and What's the name of your mech? Do you have a name for your mech? Alice. Alice. Um, that when my mech's repaired, uh, that Alice um, accompanies the worm guard uh, to some mission or whatever, like nearby place. Um, you see, I've, I've gotten intel that my father might be over there, uh, held prisoner. And I believe uh, the presence of a... Uh, of Alice of Avalon would be a uh, way to boost morale and, and encourage uh, cooperation. You know, we're trying to... Instead, we would rather lead with an olive branch than the arrow, if, if you know what I mean. I will consider your words. Good. And I hope you I'm know still that... I'm remembering yeah. how you talked about my gold flake shit. I know. On our first I know. Encounter. I know. Like that keeps replaying oh, in my head. I know. I know. <laughs> Um, and I, and I like, so, and I, I hope you, um, hmm. I hope you know how, I, and like, so now, now we have like the main course or whatever. Right. Um, and I mentioned how, like, you know, like it was a, it was actually a hard gig for me to convince the military, right. Of this, of this place to be like no we don't have to apply for us like we can win their hearts and minds and do it that way right like i convinced them that was really hard um and i and i and so what i do is i feel extremely um remorseful and apologetic about our first exchange our first argument um i uh hmm I need you to come so, and and I am being honest when I say that um, I'm you know how sorry I am and that uh, since we've been having this time um, I, I'm looking forward to get to know you more I need you to come clean about how you feel for me do you hmm. I think I do and I come clean and I say I'm very hesitant to trust your intention sir when you came to me with such harsh language and such harsh things to say about me and my people. 
So I hope that you will understand my distrust in this matter, but I am willing to listen and I'm willing to give this something of a chance. Not necessarily a relationship, but no, 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 no. Yeah, working relationship. Partnership. Yes. Partner. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, no, I want, no, 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 no. Don't worry about yeah, that. That's, that that comes later. No, no, no. <laughs> this is, um, this is definitely just like getting us to be on speaking terms and stuff. Okay, cool. Um, so I think like you get the idea, like I'm open to it, but I'm very like hesitantly. I've reluctant. been hurt before. <laughs> Like you, you were an asshole. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, and I know I was, and I'm trying to. I'm trying to apologize. I'm literally <laughs> trying to get over that in a way and show you that I, I do that. Um, you're right. You know I, that was that was wrong of me to do this. You know, and I'm I'm trying to make it up to you. Um. Well, this is a good first step. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, our 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 heated conversation or heated argument was I make an ignorant social or diplomatic blunder. Do you let me recover gracefully? You put it against me. <laughs> um, but I think it's your turn for you to ask me a topical question during this conversation over food. Okay. Um, you can also choose a likely topic. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at those and I don't like those as much as the questions. So I feel like our sure. current backstory that we made up is, is, is more interesting <laughs> right yeah so i want to know what you want what do you want me like i it, hope to find common ground with you yeah and i hope to find that about with me or the landowners with you okay i hope to find common ground with you about my the importance that the nobility has in this society. And I, I'm basically trying to say, like, I'm trying to get you to be more on my side as far as, like... Oh, absolutely. Just, yeah, you can't just absolutely. come this is what I, Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Shit. Yeah, no, no, I'm absolutely... I'm trying to... I'm, I'm building that bridge. You were like... <laughs> They're like, can you start repairing this this wound? Can you mend this wound? And I like this entire dinner. I've been like, hey, look, I'm trying to mend this wound. Is this cool or is this gonna fester? So I'm all about it. I'm all about that. I love it. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Um. Boy. Um. I'm feeling expansive. What do you want to know about me? I want to know where these feelings came from. <laughs> um, I couldn't help but see, uh, I want this to sound romantic. But I, I'm not sure how it's going to come across, but I want you to know this is my intention. Uh, in the space battle, um, right? I've re I don't know what the name for our, what our free-for-all was called, but it obviously has its proper title uh, or whatever, like the melee, right? Um, the melee of, like, we, Astral um, Ring 3 or something like that. <laughs> during the melee of Astral Ring 3... There is something, uh, I shot down that annoying gnat that you were handling, um, and, uh, you know, to be honest with you, there was for a minute that you were going to be my target, but something came over me, something that, no, there's a better way than this, and I proceeded to blast that gnat, um, that I want to do this differently. The space, um, the space union does not have to put down people by force. We're supposed to, we're not supposed to keep people down. We're supposed to keep, be a, we're not, we're not the boot keeping them down. We're the hand bringing them up is what I want to say. And I think that's going, that's going to start here. It's going to start with you.
Yeah. I fucking love this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it back to... Is that, was that my question? Yeah, that was, that was my question. What do you want to know about me? Um... Hmm. I don't want to wrap this up ever. <laughs> this is really fun. I I almost feel like it, like that's probably a good point to wrap it though. Totally, mm. I know. Uh, what's I, so- I think I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Yeah. I hope to get you to commit to supporting me and my claim for the throne, like the the throne of the planet. Ready? Yeah, that's fine. Um. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Like that makes sense though, because yeah. it's like. The way I see it is, like, I mean, I'm still going to be, I'm, real talk, you can totally convince me, because, actually, I, I still don't care about the hierarchy of this planet. I don't. But, I care about that, I, well, I care about you. As, you care you know, about, I care I ca- about it. Yeah, I care, exactly. Exactly. And I need you on my side, and I want to be on your side, because I think we can work something out here. So, if you, that means you're ruling this planet to get the way things are so you benefit and then the space union can benefit and then us together can benefit relationship wise great like that's <laughs> fine okay then i think that's it for me i have no further topical questions <laughs> yeah me too i Thanks, just son. i just wish that there was a chance that we had more time in this game and that we could have gotten to um a uh, stealing time together scene well but- you know or how much more time do we have? Because I have a turn coming up. Um, well, it's eight fifty-one, and I want to oh, kind of wrap yeah. up by nine. We probably have time for maybe like one more scene if we wanted. Yeah, okay. well, it depends on the scene. Well, yeah. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to. If it's who's next? Is it Estani's next turn? I don't want to do another uh, like one on one. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no. Like I want. I want someone else to have the spot do stuff because you were some two <laughs> scenes back to back. I don't want to. And plus, last time it was Golden's turn when we did the free for all. So that's true. <laughs> I'm excited to see no. go. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, yeah. Round two. <laughs> <laughs> Fight. <laughs> No, what is the game? We'll do one more well, game. Oh, here's what I'm thinking: I don't have time to start a new story arc, <laughs> so I want to develop one of your guys' story arcs. Um, so let's. Well, can let's we just? Eric's dad's story. Arc. What's the ending thing? Oh, hmm? uh, let me look up. Is it well? Like, I'm not not to not to say that Golden doesn't get a turn because he might get a turn, but like maybe I know the ending we're supposed to do like one final round and go all together. But let's say we don't have that time. Like, what? How is it supposed to end? And then can uh, we do something from there? Let me look. Um, to end play, go around the table one last time. On your turn, bring up any unresolved questions you have about your character's face. Say what you think the possible outcomes could be. The other players can contribute possible outcomes as well. Everyone votes to determine the which of the possible outcomes is the one that comes true. Oh, okay. That's yeah, we can wrap up play if we wanted to just go around and answer our unresolved questions. Yeah, I think I'd better wrap up play then. All right, so we'll just stop sure. at the. Uh, we're start. We'll start at the top of the turn order, which would be uh, Eric. So, any unresolved question you have about your character's fates. Um, and any possible outcomes to the situation as a whole? Yeah. Uh, does um, does Eric's pursuit to find his father end positively or negatively? Mm. See, if I was going to do a scene, I'd have your father trapped in carbonite, and we're fighting over who gets to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was thinking that you do find your father, but he's dead. Mm. So negative. What I was planning before you went to the dinner with the study was I was going to try and depose the people that took over her house and offer it back if she worked with the rebellion. Ha <laughs> ha, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> One step ahead uh, of the game, baby. One step ahead. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, of course. That was a really good, I mean, it's a perfect scene. You were, I love this game. I love the triangle because obviously two sides have to work together. And so like we were both angling over the band trash, right? <laughs> Which I think is how the game's supposed to be played, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I, I tried um, to start off attacking them and I was hoping later on we'd work with them. Yeah. But yeah, so do you have an alternative thing that happens with your dad? 
No, we Do vote. You... We vote. And so it's like one so what possible outcome do you see then oh yeah. um the possible outcome that i see is that um my father's alive and i capture him from the rebels or uh, retrieve him from the rebels liberate him from the le- rebels mm-hmm. other option is that your father is a rebel leader uh Ooh. last option or maybe last option is you find your father but i killed him <laughs> I really, really hate you. <laughs> like, you're both interrupting uh, what I want to be, like, my love interest, and you also nearly killed me. I know, you're the protagonist, and this is Enemy at the Gates, and I'm the German sniper. <laughs> yeah, like, you got it. You got the game. <laughs> That's what I was doing the whole time. <laughs> no, actually, I was totally, um, I was totally channeling the fucking British guy from the show Turn. Um, uh, the, the head of British intelligence in New York. I was totally going that guy, that route. Um, anyways, bravo. I googled turn and the first thing that came up was turn a Gundam, the series. <laughs> <laughs> Your search history is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so we vote, um, rebel leader. Rebel leader. Yeah, That's, I'd go for that. Wait, that sounds could, way interesting. Could it be yeah. or, that, like, I'm basically, like, taking commands from him unknowingly? Yeah, and then you <gasps> yes! find out that you've yeah. been working for your enemy's father. Because that's can. kind of, like, just, like, it's ironic in such a great way. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I can see you going on. It's, like, all the above. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Golden, what happens with your character? What happens with the rebel's asset? Does the rebel's asset actually turn to a normal life? Um, I think she does. I think she returns to working as like a laborer. And no mm-hmm. one ever knows she was the rebel's great asset. Or alternatively, she does such a good job at not being discovered that she can never escape her life working for the rebels because they keep drawing her back in. Mm. Or you try to escape from the rebels and they kill you. God damn it, rebel president, I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're found out and destroyed, but only with the help of the um, combined forces of Remy and Darcy Bashan. Uh, uh, Bantrashi or Bantrashin um, nobility basically turning on the rebels. Oh, I like that because I like the two Bantrash nobilities working together. No. I tried to do that and you were just all like, Ew. Because we like kind of built them up as like an aristocracy that competes for the throne. Yeah. But like to see two of them working together would be very interesting. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Dance my puppets. <laughs> <laughs> I vote against that mainly just because I'm the, like a protagonist and I just want to like drive off into the sunset with Darcy all rich and <laughs> <laughs> I vote for you can never escape them. Though you try. Mm. Okay, I'll vote for that too. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So when I started off, I described this uh, this character with the glowing eyes and the vents. I was mm-hmm. totally going to have that be a magical animal companion <laughs> that was the leader of the rebellion. Oh, wow. Teleporters <laughs> into the vents and do some missions. <laughs> that would have been a bizarre turn. Uh, yeah. I didn't get to ever have that happen, so I'm talking to you guys. So, no matter where my character goes, the teleporting cat follows her and keeps giving her missions. Yeah, to it's like you're a <laughs> cover agent, but you're too deep in cover to get out. <laughs> I'm in too deep, man. I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, Stunny, what happens to uh, Darcy? My burning question is, what happens to Darcy's love life? That's, because that's she, also mine. She's got two suitors pursuing her. 
does she go with either of them or does she use mm. both of them to get what she wants like probably the second one but i want the first what's one. your possible out yeah what's what is your outcome um hmm. my outcome is that she spurns Ramon and uses Eric to get control of the planetary throne and then basically murders him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! I was going to say Darcy marries Eric so that she can become a landowner herself and then she murders Eric. That's true. <laughs> oh wait, that's actually. A if I can, can I add on to that proposition? <laughs> oh, I mean, I guess it's assumed yeah, that I'm dead. Like, all right, that's fair. You, you Eric. scheme him all the way to the top, but the person you have kill him is Remy. <laughs> I like that. That works. <laughs> or I fall in love. That never happens. It never no. happens um, in the dark future of space. <laughs> no. Um, oh boy. I actually, I know I do like the idea that um, you do. So, okay. Place Ramon's be, dead. I, Ramon's I, dead. I, Ramon's dead on your climb to the top. Um, the He's in the boot you secure You secure the kingdom stuff um, by my side. But you do betray me for Remy, ultimately. So I think I think that's that's. I'm not sure if that's any different than your sci-fi. But right, now you guys are king. Is, you guys are king and queen of uh, of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you basically get played the long con. And the well, no, I love it. I love it though because all you did was just <laughs> prove my first point. <laughs> <laughs> that the only way you can keep these plants in line is by force. Yeah. And then you go, you're like, it's my fucking shit with gold nuggets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never let it go. Never can we, let it wait, go. Uh, can we specify how I die? Because I'm pretty sure you just said, like, I die on... Yeah, it's not important. We have to, we vote. <laughs> oh, wow, Eric. Okay. So we well, you, get, you get bulldozed out. over with the rest of the resistance. Look, we can't just keep the resistance around, and you're clearly <laughs> part of them. I mean, That's true, I, I know your name. I know resistance. Your resistance never ends. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that a band trash firing squad oh, rolls up on your house in the dead of night. But then <laughs> yeah, I was just curious on how it happened. That's all. Yeah. So it's yeah. basically like on her climb to the top, she just stomps on the resistance. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you yeah, described makes... the Tower of Boots earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Back to the beginning. Jesus. <laughs> it's perfect. But my boots are on top. Yeah. <laughs> Do we even need to vote on that one? <laughs> no, no, it's pretty obvious. I think we've all we've all just been agreeing and just upping the stakes incrementally <laughs> since the very beginning of that. We're all on board with you you getting the power, Eric dies, and just now we're just resolu you know, fin the the finer we're just tweaking the little tiny knobs at that point. This always happens to me in mech games. I always kill my love interest. <laughs> because it's not true love. It's more it's, likely than you think. It's tough. It's tough being the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's only just uh, love. Like this love good. is not true. You have to be oh, true. Speaking of true the best, love. what happens to Remy? Yeah, what happens to Remy? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he ends up eventually getting his sort of faded duel with Eric. Oh, absolutely. Uh. And we've already or after he becomes emperor. Oh God! Oh, <gasps> got it, got it. Yes, it's after. It's got to be after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you um no, no well yes and no. It um, has to be. <laughs> you get you get the duel with me. Well, it's not my turn. Everyone else go say their stuff. Say their stuff. No, no, listen to your proposition, Eric. Come on. All right, proposition. <laughs> I know, I like the idea... Oh, man. Alright, you guys need to help me out here. But the fate of Remy is that Remy leads the resistance against uh, Darcy. Uh, Interesting. Ooh. I like that. Darcy I like that because he, does, he didn't like how he 
that uh, she sided with the landowners to get to the top. Yeah, basically, I yeah, you did. I was I you turned was lower like, rank than him, right? Yeah, but we decided was, that, and I I usurped power. Yeah, you yeah. did. Usurped you did. You fucking through, rode that ladder to the top. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah. now now they run. So they yeah. Disgrace the name of the bad trash by working with these off-worlders. So, so this also doesn't violate the earlier part, though. Do you actually end up marrying her or not? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that ultimately, I die in some point. Mm. Uh, whether by your hand, Remy. I think it'd be more. I love the idea that I died though by by my lover's hand, personally. Oh yeah. Um, but I love the idea that you end up being the resistance leader against the power situation that me and um, Darcy ended up getting established. Yeah. Somehow. I love that idea. I, I'm, I'm willing to vote on any extraneous details as long as that's true. I'm down for that, though. I'm down for that as well. Same. Sure. Well, but there, no one else put forward something. What the fuck? <laughs> what? That's not how voting works. Idea, that's right? how the union. That's how the. That's how the star union works. Yeah. That's not how <laughs> voting works. Here's an alternative. Eric is banished to Earth, where he has to play the part of a jester for losing the planets. This isn't my fate. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Talking about Remy's. It's Remy's face. This so, is called ending oh, play, okay. not screw over Eric's character. Another <laughs> another thing could be because Remy was sixteenth in line, right? He if was eighteenth in line. He was eighteenth in line, right? If he marries me, he's first in line. That's true. Well, I think he does. Nineteen eighty four situation, right, where the upper class gets overthrown by the middle class and becomes a new middle, new middle yeah. class. And the I lower class like, always stays the lower class. In a way, like as much as working with the landowners was a power pr- play for uh, Darcy, working with the resistance is an equally strong power play for Remy, and he does, I think, eventually end up on the throne. Yeah, but at what cost? Yeah, right. Exactly. Really? At what cost? Like, the cost of the, many of his people. Like. The 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 Bantle Liberation Front versus the Liberation Front of Bantle. Yeah. Right. You and know what I think should like, happen is that like there is that big conflict, and then we end up in a political marriage, in a loveless yeah. political marriage, and a very. Right. We, like we just did it to stop fighting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you secure your rule by getting like you know the legitimacy of the people by marrying Remy, and then Remy yeah. also doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> like so. you get an army and you conquer the capital. Yeah. And while you're there, you set the thrones, you declare yourself king, and then you force a marriage between yourself and Darcy. Well, I feel like oh, that's the- a good point. Who? <laughs> Who negotiates the barter of the marriage? I I want to feel like Remy negotiates it because I feel like that would be a long dragged out conflict, and Remy would just be like, "All right, we need to stop the fighting." <laughs> like the <bachelor laughs> and people and especially are because you would need my support because at at this moment I have the support of the landowners, and if you off me and reclaim the planet, they're coming for your ass. Yeah. And he knows that he can't beat the landowners again in his current state. But what if she had a bigger mecha? Oh my god, this game, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right, if so she I had feel... a bigger mecha, then maybe you could fight the landowners. Maybe. Maybe if we up, up my mobile frame with more swords. <laughs> <laughs> more swords. Alright. <laughs> Guys. We gotta vote on something. What, uh, well, we found out Ramon's fate already. Yeah, but there's still unanswered questions. That's true. What uh, what unanswered questions are with Ramon's fate? Wait, I just have one comment. Yeah. Can I, just by chance, survive the rebel stomping and become a D&D adventurer? <laughs> <laughs> what if you become a BTL addict? No, but some <laughs> but an author makes a spin-off of your of your exploits. Okay, yeah, that's for, fair. In, in the, in the a novelization of your life. Yes. Yeah. So it's never established like in canon I died, but it's no. established that the place that I got that got stomped was a place that I like frequented. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe you were forced maybe you're forced into exile and become a stars without number character. 
right? And then, you know, <laughs> and then and then you do the fucking yeah, and then you know, like I said, like there's the anime that follows your exploits after mm-hmm. the fact. Yeah, the spinoff series when we yeah. need yes. <laughs> you get banished to the no technology planet. And, like, you're the only guy there with a mecha. God, I would love that. Just like Ramon, just he would just be like, ah, oh, dude, ah. Oh. Guys, this is so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's Mobile Frame Zero Firebrand. <laughs> um, I'm playing this game again. Uh, I'm playing this game again. <laughs> I'm definitely playing this game again. I'm gonna bring it to. This, I'm definitely bringing to Story Game Seattle next time I go, but it's not gonna be a couple weeks though, because uh, TwitchCon's coming up. Um, so let's do. Uh, let's do a quick little discussion about this game. You know, <laughs> just talk about what we liked, maybe what we didn't like, that kind of stuff. Anyone have some strong opinions? Political just- intrigue. <laughs> yeah, I just wish we had more time. I, God, I wish we had more time. I want more scenes. Uh, this yeah. game is not a one shot. A fucking no way. Oh, yeah, God. just go back and do more scenes. Let's just do it. make this a two shot. Let's come back to this. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good, oh. guys. I, feel like is- I really liked the mini games where, when we were playing, you know, when we were acting, other players that weren't acting ask questions mm-hmm. and we had to play that out um, yeah especially the uh, mini games didn't have that mechanic what was yeah. that was a really fun mechanic it was the animated disagreement game that had the audience yeah, ask really the good. questions i really like that mechanic. where the audience got to determine what people yeah. were talking about that was they, yeah well, the disagreement was just like someone who wasn't there just being like do this <laughs> yeah that was cool i like that I mean, they never got coins for anything else, so... Yeah, yeah they're just, uh, they're individual scoring between games. Yeah. I think the thing that had them a- add up at the end was a house roll. Probably. I feel like I would want to invest more time into that mechanic. Mm-hmm. Their mechanics just didn't feel as strong to me. Yeah. Uh... This game definitely gave me a whole lot of ideas on the things people like to do in a mecha RPG. <laughs> yeah, um, like, I love Souls of Steel, but this is way better as far as what I want to play. Um, yeah. I mean, like, Souls of Steel would be a better, like, long-form campaign game, because that's more about, like, the mission-to-mission, like, Battlestar Galactica Viper Pilot thing mm. over time, but, like... This just gets all the feels right, right, right when you need like, them. Yeah, I prefer the like the more personal touch of like things like Gundam compared to Pro Battlestar. Yeah, this was got this was really good. This game's really good, guys. It's fucking <laughs> really good. Really good. Definitely go pick it up. It's five dollars, guys. It's five dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or just support his Patreon. Huh? Yeah, or yeah. support or his support Patreon Vincent for the five dollar tier, and you get yeah. the game anyway. <laughs> That's the way to do it, guys. Support support your game designers. Oh, they need food. And Vincent yeah. Baker's fucking amazing. Vincent I Baker's making that apocalypse world money, though. He's set. I don't I really don't think that's true. Uh but uh I don't think there's any I don't think there's a lot of money in indie RPGs. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of money. I know he has a day job. I know that, so guys, this is this is yeah. insane. Good for Vincent Baker for making this this great game. Yes. Fucking. Well, I feel like the set aside an hour or two was a little unrealistic. (laughs) Yeah, what the fuck? (laughs) Yeah, the free for all did take like 30 minutes. Yeah, that was like. Well, our, like, I feel like the dance took 45. (laughs) The dance did it? Maybe the mechanic is the really? same as the free for all mechanic. Yeah, yeah, Maybe that's true. true. It's guess. the games where yeah. everyone plays that it takes a long time, but it's worth it because it's yeah. interesting. Keeping the game tight knit and like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, maybe like smaller scenes that we just do more iterative iteration. Excuse me, iterations might be a way of doing it. That's kind of what I do in Fiasco now. It's like a couple sentences go. You know, well, it's then like, it's I, also like you know our first time running. Yeah, that's, sure. that's, if yeah. we run it multiple yeah. times, we'll get it down pat and be smoother with it. Yeah, because um, part the the um we evolve from the 
hey, what does this mini game do to being able to apply them like tools to the current situation to get interesting outcomes? Yeah, exactly. This, there is a system mastery component to we this game. We didn't even play every mini game, if I'm no. not mistaken. I don't, I don't think we did. Untouched. We didn't. We didn't, we, didn't we, didn't do and we didn't have a tactical skirmish. Yeah. Not even close, but God, I'm gonna play this game again. Super good. <laughs> super, super good. Um, I just wanted one more scene. That's it. But yeah. oh. <laughs> all right. I, I also wanted a scene yeah. so I could fight uh, for my love interest against Derek. <laughs> that would have been kind of great. Real oh mind. no. I mean, I did kill him in the end. So that that like I'm I'm proud of you. I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm glad that you're at least not with him. Yeah, no, I'm trapped in a loveless political marriage. It's all good. <laughs> it's, it's better. Than Nailed it. Turned out fine. <laughs> all right, uh, let's do let's guys let's do some outros. Golden H. Hey guys, uh, I'm Golden H. You can catch me on Twitch.tv forward slash Golden WH. Uh, right now, I'm streaming Judgment Files on Wednesday night. I'll be hosting AP Gaming Shadow Run Gaming and. Thursday night, which I'll be playing in, and uh, check us out on Sunday nights for Burning Wheels RPG, the last episode this week, and then Burning R&D going forward. Our first game will be Torchbearer, and it's going to be great. We're going to play all kinds of weird games. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Corn Dogs. Hey, I'm Corn Dogs. Uh, <laughs> I uh, am corn dog chaotic corn dogs like everywhere. So if you want to like, you know, do any of that, then you can. It's just I what's had... in his house is chaotic corn dogs everywhere. It's a <laughs> hellish place. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, that, like I wish. Uh, <laughs> uh, I had a just God. This game, it's like I basically set out to be like. A like dumb protagonist who basically just wanted to do protagonist things and yeah. then get screwed over. That is exactly what happened. It was great. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't think I like. That's really all there is to say. Really. <laughs> like, oh, I just had a great time. Thank you guys. <laughs> this game really lets you achieve what you set out to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. It's it's hard to do in a game. Yeah. I set out to be the uh, young, hot-blooded mech pilot, and I got plenty of scenes with that. Yeah, Absolutely. right. <laughs> um, cool. I didn't get to be Sunday at all. Yeah, Sci-Fry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys can find me at twitter.com slash sci-fry. I love this game. I haven't gotten the chance to play it before, but I'm definitely going to keep playing it from now on. Always hit me up if you find interesting games with mechs in them. I'm all for it. Watch <laughs> Mobile Suit Gundam. It's a very good franchise. If you don't know where to start with it, tweet me at twitter.com slash sci-fi with an underscore, and I will just hit you up with the hot Gundam links. Perfect. Hey, right. It's Estaney. <laughs> I am Estaney. I love romantic subplots and political drama, and I got that so much in this, and I'm so happy. <laughs> Yeah. If you want to see more stuff by me, um, tomorrow I'm going to be on Eric's Blades in the Dark game. It's at 1 Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And on Sundays, I stream board games on my channel, twitch.tv slash Estaney. And we're going to be playing Pandemic with the In Little Lab expansion, which is going to be fun. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Estaney. I do stuff sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. And I'm Eric, I'm Eric Volgaris, and as you've been watching Once Upon a Game, this is my Friday night uh, one-shot show where we feature a lot of, like, either story games or, like, you know, small press publishing-styled games um, that, you know, we just wrap up and play and give them uh, a little bit of love because not enough people play these games or even know that they exist. Um, they definitely need more visibility because these games are great. They're, this is super fun. I know a lot of people have been talking about mech anime, RPGs, and what to play and stuff like that. Uh, Vincent, it's you just outdid, been you me fucking all outdid the time. yourself. <laughs> it's not been a lot just of on separate like accounts. No, <laughs> no, that's the funny. No, no, that's the funny thing though. This has come up in real in my real life. Like this is a oh. thing. Like people are like, "Where's I need? I want mech anime feels." Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the no, closest and, thing you're gonna get is like mech noir, and that's like clunky as hell. 
yeah, yeah you get Meg Noir. No, I mean, I, I, I have been recommending Souls of Steel as a, as a good place to start because I love Power by the Apocalypse style mm-hmm. games, but no way, no way. I just wish Fire Souls Rance, of Steel was Fire in Rance a... Is just everything uh, now. Yeah, I would love <laughs> to do a long-form game of Souls of Steel. I just wish it was in more than, like, a playtest format. I know. Like, I wish there was more to it. Yeah, but, like, Firebrands is... Firebrands right now is my favorite. Is my is jam. A+. Yeah, so, um... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to be back here tomorrow, uh, as the Stanley said, uh, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, for some Blades in the Dark. Uh, it's never sunny in Doskval. We're returning. It's super, super fun. Hopefully, we'll get some money for our um, our crew here so they don't die. We're so broke. We're, We're super so broke. fucking super broke. Um, <laughs> it's fun, though. It's super fun. I love I love these oh, games. <laughs> Uh, then I'm back. Uh, there's no Oathkeeper's Domain on Sunday, um, but there will still be uh, Burning Crowns. So expect more fucking crazy political fantasy shit going on in Burning mm-hmm. Crowns. Um, that starts at 11 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday. Um, let's see what else. Uh, coming This coming Tuesday, if you like podcasts, Once Upon a Cast is going live. You can already find me on um, Pocket Casts and Stitcher. At once, a, you can follow me on Twitter uh, and that show on Twitter. I'm doing it with a bunch of um, people that are big fans of here on on the internet uh, that I played a lot of games with. It's called Once Upon Cast because Once Upon a Cast was taken, so there's no A in it. Um, and and see when we go live with our first episode. There's a little bit teaser intro already available uh, to listen to for now. Um, expect more of that going forward. Uh, I didn't know we- that was weekly, coming out so soon. Uh, weekly podcast hour basis um so super fun we've been recording a bunch of epi- uh we have a, like a backlog of of stuff for f- so weekly expect weekly games super excited for it um yeah so thanks guys that'll do it for us tonight uh take care uh if you enjoy this stuff hit that follow button otherwise uh see you on youtube uh youtube.com slash youtube.com slash eric fulgaris uh do that stuff and if you really really like me go to page my patreon yay okay done yeah all right we're out of here <laughs> Bye, everybody.